This is a pretty high total today, but I still like going over here, and that's going to be on the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks today in Major League Baseball. Oddsmaker set the total pretty high, but I like for both of these subpar pitchers, subpar in my opinion, to get knocked around a little bit. And I like for the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers to go ahead and get on track with a lot of quality at bats today. Oddsmakers came out with a number at 8.5, and that seems pretty high for a game not in Colorado. But at the end of the day, when we break down some statistics, it kind of makes some sense. I like for a high scoring affair in this game. I think it's going to happen. All right, let's talk about these pitchers. You got Mike Bolsinger getting a start for the Dodgers. Coming back from injury, he's had one start since back from injury uh, just about a week ago. He comes in on the year so far. 2.97 ERA, 1.21 whip, 84 strikeouts, and a 6-3 and three record overall. His last start back was in San Diego. He allowed two hits, both home runs, kind of surprising, to allow uh, three earned runs in just five innings. So he pitched pretty well. I think he's going to have a different uh, time in Arizona, although he did pitch well against them once this year. I don't think it's going to happen again. Look for the Diamondbacks to go ahead and have a nice day at the plate against pretty good pitcher in Bolsinger. For the Diamondbacks, you got Ruby De La Rosa, and uh, he's had really a hot and cold type of season. Didn't get knocked around a ton, but he can get knocked around. He comes in so far this year, 4.49 ERA, 1.31 whip, 138 strikeouts. He's 12 and 7 on the year. Uh, in his last few starts, he's you know he's given up some runs, about 11 earned runs in his last three. As well against the Dodgers, he's not pitched well. He's got roughed up really bad in one start, allowing nine earned runs. Uh, then he allowed five earned runs, and then he had a pretty decent start against him. So one pretty bad, one real bad, and one pretty good start against him. So overall, his ERA against the Dodgers is around nine. I look for Los Angeles to go ahead, get to him today. I look for them to score four or five runs. I think the Dodgers are they're swinging the bat really well right now. So I look for them to get to De La Rosa. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Dodgers offense. They have been swinging the bat really well. They come in on the year so far, total-wise. They're 19th ranked in runs scored, uh, just over four, fifth in OPS. 19th in batting average, they hit 252 as a team, but they've been averaging around five runs, maybe a little over five runs in their last seven games prior to yesterday's game. Um, and they've been hitting the ball pretty well recently. I look for them to continue that momentum today in Arizona. Diamondbacks, one of the best hitting teams in the National League. Haven't hit very well in their last 10, but I look for them to break out today, especially the odds makers making this total so high. On the year though, they come in uh, they're ranked fifth in run scored per game at 4.44. They're ninth in OPS, uh, seventh in batting average. They hit 265 as a team, and they hit better at home, which makes some sense, uh, like most teams do. So I like for them to get the Bolsinger. You know, they saw him once this year. Diamondbacks have some good hitters in that lineup, although they haven't produced a lot lately. With the with the odds makers making this number so high, I really think they are predicting that the Diamondbacks are going to go and score as well. So look for the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks to get on the board early and often. Over the totals, my play here in Major League Baseball, and I wish you guys luck on your plays of the day.